Welcome to Wise Beyond Bitcoin, where you come for education, analysis, and opportunities in blockchain and crypto. My name is Lucas. And my name is Ryan. And today we have something for education, something for analysis, and to help you scope out opportunities for yourself. So I know a lot of times we do walkthroughs on protocols. We like to talk about the economics, the potential value, the the market disruption that may take place. But today we just want to show you a really neat tool that you can bookmark. You can add this website to look at and explore at your own time, just to help give you perspective in your, in your basket of research tools in the world of DeFi and crypto. That about right? Exactly. That's right. So the website is called the bank. You can go, you can go to it, uh, the <clears throat> And if you if you click under more, I think now, is where the tab now, you do oh, go ahead. it lets you connect your wallet so obviously you can connect your wallet and i'm sure it will show you cross chain or what's happening on your mm -hmm. chain it'll probably show you breakdown but uh let's go right to the DeFi. DeFi list that's what we're here to see so this is pretty sweet you get to see you can click at the chain uh chain whatever chain you're looking at and it'll sort the different protocols on that chain and um and then once you find one that you're interested in uh let's do olympus for an example, because we were just looking at that earlier, we and it's talked, right here. Talked about the DAOs, Olympus DAO. We mm -hmm. just uh, did a video on that not that long ago. So, and you've got different ways that you can filter, as you can see up sure. here. Right now, it's filtered by user deposits, so how many deposits are in. But you can also see the in the last twenty four hours the amount of users, how engaged is the protocol. Just right. keep that in mind. But let's go Very right handy to Olymp Olympus. So one of the things you could do with this is go to the protocol you're interested in, and you can see right off the bat that it's it's uh, sorting the different wallets that are that ha that have holdings on this project by by the size of their their net volume, their net worth, right? And the first three it tells you clearly are contract addresses. So that's the that would be the treasury uh, or you know different various wallets associated with the treasury of Olympus. So that's what that is. But the fourth. You can clearly see that's uh, not a contract. Number six is, but four and five don't aren't contracts. So those are those would just be users uh, of the uh, holders. That those would be your your biggest holders. And it, you know, as you go down, the holdings are decrease. <clears throat> so you get so one of the things you can see clearly is that you can see the percentage, the share of, of that user has of the total supply of that token. And what this will tell you is is the degree to which the whales control that token and to what extent they control it and um you know if it's a if the percentage of of a, any one wallet is a, is you know five or ten or even higher than that that's you know that's a large percentage of the, to of the total and now you could you can imagine that that's uh you know greater risk for a rug pool or or for for that if that user were to sell that's a large fraction so you could see a lot of price activity a lot of price you know impact on that so that's something to consider and you would, I guess, uh, for me, I would look for uh, protocols that have um, have a, a fair distribution of the of the token, such that the top wallets maybe are, are somewhere, you know, one or two percent or below would be great, ideal. And and what else is involved here? So if you find a wallet that has a large, say we, you know, you click on any one wallet, maybe one's a whale that has a, you know, a, the largest holding. That's and cool. you imagine, okay, well, they've got a lot of money invested. They probably have a pretty maybe they have a better idea than someone like me who doesn't have this much this many resources perhaps we should look at what what else they are invested in and get a tip in as to what you know what projects or protocols might be worth getting into uh, it's kind of a follow the smart money kind of concept here and this is of course not to say that oh someone who's got a lot of money is going to necessarily have the right the right picks it's only to do it's only to give you ideas of things to look and do your own due diligence later on to make you know, make you an educated decision well, one thing you could look at when you look at this wallet, right? If this is a whale wallet, notice how the majority of their funds are in crypto, Link, Rune, all this stuff. And, and you come down and notice how of, of the $137 million, if you wonder if they're bullish or bearish in the market right now, they've got their biggest uh, stable coin holding is $6,000. <laughs> yeah. So that's a that's some bullish like out, sentiment. Out of uh, out of, out of uh, are they like? Well, I'm not sure if it's going to go up. But right now, they're saying, uh, let's just go all in to uh, these protocols right now. And that's, of course, we don't know 
probably not a contract address because it doesn't say it, but maybe it is. We're not 100% sure it could be. If you want to be safe, you can scroll a little bit further down to someone who only has $8 million in the project and see how diversified they are and what they like. Yeah. You know, but it's neat if you would like to track success and see yeah. how other people are splitting up theirs. Here's how this guy decides to split 13 million with 8 million. We've seen a lot of these Olympus whales are Olympus whales. Yeah. Yes. For these are people who probably got in Olympus early and made a bunch of money on it and then, you know, taken profit and diversified. Yeah, their best bet is to not rug pull or else they'll be pulling the rug out from their own feet. Right. Dollar cost average out right there. If you've got 13 million in, that's for sure. All yeah, right. So a handy, a handy resource for seeing, you know, what the distribution of, uh, of, of any one protocol with of the tokens across different wallets and what the main wallets, the highest volume wallets and net worth wallets are. And you can get a, take a look at what they're holding. I, you know, I feel like it's a good, it's a good uh, tip, kind of like cheat sheet, I guess you could say. But definitely do your own research and and um, you know don't afford uh, invest what you can't afford to lose. Yeah, you can also look even if you're not looking at at the wallets. If you're tracking to get ideas of what some of the wealthier crypto investors out there are into, you can get an idea of projects that you didn't even know existed by looking at wallets like that, which is yeah. a way to research. You can also come. And I do like using the users to see which of these projects are really active, right? Pancake right. Club um, is known for having, I, I think, some extra buffered, you know, the spoofed, spoofed sw swaps, yeah. right? But still, it is definitely one of the larger um, alternatives to Ethereum. It's been around first, uh, first mover on that. Open Very cheap quick transactions you yeah. know nft uh leader trader joe we've talked a lot about trader joe what they've done with mem what they're yep. doing home token they were really just pioneers in DeFi for avalanche and still are so that's that's great and quick swap which is over it's harmony all. one right yes it is yeah quick swap is harmony one that's incredible so you like you get an idea of the platforms avalanche harmony one spooky swap phantom you really mm -hmm. get an idea of these protocols that are have the community behind it i like right. seeing Hunter down not too far behind you know this is a great there's rome there's rome yeah rome down just did a video on them yeah so check it out. We'll leave a, we always leave the links in in the description below so you can do your own research. This is not financial advice. We already mentioned that this time. This is not financial yeah. advice. It's just yeah. educational information. You know all that good stuff. Yeah. You know to support us if you like this kind. If you want to know, we do walkthroughs to walk you through and, and do live examples with the wallets. We've got just overall market updates and information. If you like a little of this and a little of that, you know, to support us, you do a little bit of a thumbs up and a little bit of a notification bell subscription. You hit that bell so it says you're always alerted to every time we drop a video. Oh, man. <laughs> I know that's what you want to do. Yes. If you well, do, you may want to set the alerts on your phone to off, though, if you know what I mean, because we're dropping yeah. a lot of vids and we intend to keep it flowing. Keep it going. That's right. So, yeah, stick with us. We got some more cool stuff coming in the pipeline. And uh, if you like this sort of thing, subscribe. Till the next time, have a beautiful day. Namaste. Thank you.